probably am the least guy, I would say, probably in the world that would have ever gotten into barbecue. So for the path for me to, to be here with a barbecue restaurant was certainly never in the plan for my life. Barbecue for me, and I, and I think probably uh, for a lot of other people as well, just kind of kind of how we grew up. Barbecue is hard work. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a lot. It takes time. I'm back here in the pit room and being able to watch people pull up in the parking lot with their families, their husbands, their wives, their children, their kids, their friends, their cousins. Uh, that's a big, that's a big deal to me. It's a really big deal. Uh, so whenever you, you pull up in the parking lot, you, you see the smoke uh, coming out from the barbecue pits. You, you smell barbecue in the air. Uh, you know, we wanted to, to have a place that people planned on coming to. It's kind of a story um, that almost didn't happen. I am Blue Broussard, owner of 1701 Barbecue here in Beaumont, Texas. I probably am the least guy probably in the world that would have ever gotten into barbecue. Our family's been here in Southeast Texas for seven generations now. For five of those now, our family has been funeral service providers. That's uh, what I was, and still am to this day, very proud of our family business. Probably two or three years ago, uh, my sister and I, who is one of our, one of my business partners at the funeral home along with my dad, we'd been talking about the, the idea of creating some, some new concepts. Food service kind of came up in conversation. Uh, but I would uh, n just never dream that it'd be a, a possibility for us to be able to, to finally get here one day and open up a restaurant. Well, being, being from Southeast Texas, we don't have a whole lot of uh, Central Texas style of barbecue. And a lot of my hometown friends that I grew up with kind of moved out to that area. Whenever I'd go visit those guys, you go visit your friends and you go eat barbecue. And to not have that here in my hometown kind of felt a little, little empty um, with his vision and, and my love for the craft. It just felt, felt really good to be able to make that partnership work. Early stages, uh, a few years ago, a good friend of mine, David Thompson, he and I had a, a food trailer. We'd only be able to maybe set that up every every once in a while, special events in town and whatnot. That really kind of got the spark in me for for cooking barbecue and really enjoying food.
to this day, we're probably about, about a year in right now for business so far to date. The, the biggest transition that we had whenever we got this place going, some, some unknowns, I guess you would say, we finally have all this product coming in and we're trimming briskets. So for instance, you've got a 15 pound brisket that comes in, you have to trim it before it goes on the smoker. Then by the time you cook it, you may have about five or six pounds of product that you can actually sell. So the biggest challenge that we kind of knew going in immediately was what are we gonna do with all this product that we've purchased and essentially we can't use. So our answer to that was, uh, was making our house made sausage here, here recently, and also in, including some boudin as well. And that's something that uh, we've been really proud to hang our hats on, that knowing that all of our items here are, are made in house all the way down to our sides and our desserts. My name is Cherish Eve Moore. Um, I am a pastry chef, unofficially, but officially, at here at 1701. There was such a hype. There was such a buildup that was super exciting. This restaurant, there was nothing in it. I put these tables together. I hand shampooed these chairs put the furniture, like the pieces, like we put this kitchen together, we put the shelves together. So like, there's even more pride into it that we've all had our hands in it from day one that he brought us in and included us in all of those, those steps. Yeah, I would say that there's a lot of barbecue restaurants that are very similar. Maybe what distinguishes our restaurant in this particular region is that we are trying to create um, obviously a craft barbecue that has that hill country flair. Um, but at the same time, we are being faithful to our roots here in Southeast Texas to bring in some of those flavors that people in our particular area will be um, familiar with. You know, it's been our desire to create such a, a demanding uh, product, such, such a great tasting food and a great experience for the customer that we weren't too worried about the uh, location. Uh, we were more concerned about what it was that we were actually creating, what we were cooking, what we were putting in front of the customer. So I would say that we did not know uh, truly if Beaumont would accept us and accept, accept this style of barbecue. Beaumont has a rich style of unique barbecue all on its own. Whenever we opened last year, we were probably not the best time in the world to open up a restaurant. It was right in the middle of the pandemic. You don't know if you can get customers in the door or not. So honestly, day one, December 1st, last year, uh, we didn't know if anyone was gonna show up. But they did. Um, and we had a, a belief, we had a thought that if we could create a great product and um, reproduce that over and over, be consistent with that, and show great customer service that the customer would come. And thankfully, that seems to be our experience so far. I think by the whenever we opened restaurants for at a 50% capacity for, for dining, just kept pushing through and uh, very, very fortunate that we've got a community that has supported us from day one. Uh, just amaze us every single day. We are, we're proud of 1701. We're proud of Beaumont, Southeast Texas for supporting us. I think that for us, um, the group that comprises, that makes up 1701, we've always been a group of people independently who have looked for good food, who appreciate good, good food. Um, and we're always imagining different foods that we can create at home um, experimenting with flavors and different styles of cooking, things that are maybe a little bit more labor intensive, but we like that. We like to do things a bit different, things that take a little bit more time, things that are harder. And so when you combine uh, that desire and that, uh, that, that love for 
uh, the long haul of food and the cooking experience. That's really why I think that we're successful in the way that we have been as of late. So, I mean, we got a great group of guys. It was uh, really tight knit from the beginning. We got really lucky and we all kind of had the same goals in mind. Make great barbecue and do a Central Texas style in Southeast Texas. And I think that's what kind of set us apart a little bit. What? What's going on? We'll be having a, a, a big one-year celebration to, uh, to celebrate everything. But, uh, you know, we're, again, we're, we're one year in. So we're, uh, we're gonna make it through the year, uh, keep our heads down, keep working. Uh, obviously, uh, Texas Monthly, uh, top 50. Uh, back in November, which I still can't believe. I would say, you know, anybody who's in the in the barbecue game, obviously knows about Texas Monthly and the, their their top 50 list that they come out with. You know, two years ago, whenever we were we were thinking about 1701 barbecue, that was always, I, I guess you would say, <laughs> it, it 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 was a goal, but it just seemed so unattainable. Uh, that's incredible that we've been able to, to accomplish uh, such a feat and get some recognition. <laughs> it's still, uh, still trying to wrap our head around it, uh, quite honestly. To be ranked as one of the top 50 barbecue joints in Texas um, in a matter of less than a year um, is in some degree for us just shocking, um, maybe a bit uh, unbelievable sometimes. It's, it's mind-blowing. It's amazing. Whenever that list came out and we first saw that, that's a very, very emotional time for, for all of us. Uh, we're extremely honored by it. Uh, we don't take it for granted. And, uh, you know, we just, we thought for sure that we were way too young of a business. We've never claimed to know it all. We just knew that we were really passionate about cooking food and, uh, we just kind of kept our heads down and, and kept working at it. So to be honored and, and to be named on that Texas Monthly List, it's, it's to us just kind of like a, a once in a lifetime achievement and we could not be more proud uh, of that. The thing that makes me see here is like, it feels like, it doesn't feel like coming to work. Like, I mean, it physically does feel like work. It's definitely labor, but it's like coming home, like, we feel like family, like we joke that Blue and Travis are mom and dad. I'm uh, proud, to be, uh, proud to be a part of, of the team that we have here and uh, definitely uh, couldn't do it without the family. Y'all are my 17 and one family, so thank y'all. Appreciate it, guys. You know, we've got an incredible team here of folks. Uh, everybody here is on the same page. They want to put out the best product that they can daily. Uh, so we uh, accredit all that success to them. It's a cool thing for 1701, but it's also a cool thing for Beaumont as well. It was uh, definitely the support of uh, my family uh, to really kind of push us and get us moving forward and kind of get us to this point. So I, I credit my family for, for everything uh, that I am today. and. Uh, pretty much made everything possible for us.